بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على سيدنا محمد بن عبد الله رسول الله خاتم النبيين السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته um, I'm sure everybody is paying attention to the news and keeping updated with all that's happening and this just earlier today we saw um, we saw the amendment by Dallas County Judge Clay Jenkins to what he had already given in light of what we've seen that through um, what's what's worldwide that America has moved up to third place um, China's still keeping first and Italy in second so America has moved up to third place with regards to the quantity of those infected and all the other data that's there and of course you have access to those websites and that information to, to better see um, Ya Ahbab as we see that part of what's being said is that worship in houses of worship as a whole are from here on forward um, strictly to be done through web sh live streaming and teleconferencing uh, but nothing in person in congregation for subhanallah what we had noticed and seen of a large circle gradually getting smaller and smaller we're basically in in lockdown where we're being told that all non-essential staff uh, and non-critical positions of employment that we're to stay home we're to minimize our public exposure and to make sure that we are very strictly abiding by the six foot radius social distancing that needs to be maintained regardless of where we are uh, Ahbab as, as I'm thinking about this um, I can only imagine that there's so many directions that we can go with this uh, but here's here's a thought that I had and I want to share it with you to share it with you because it's it's important that we keep a healthy proper perspective that we keep a perspective that continues to nurture our faith and our devotion to Allah Rabbul Alameen as well as our family ties and our communal ties and so as we are going through this pandemic, which for the majority of us is the first time we've had to deal with something that's ever put us in this uh, extreme, a measure of trying to live. How are we handling it? How are we allowing Allah Rabbul Alameen to guide us through this? Are we allowing for Him Jalla wa'ala to further strengthen our trust in Him, our belief in Him, and our devotion to Him, Subhana, Or are we becoming bitter? Are we perhaps in our character becoming um, perhaps less than what's praiseworthy? As many a brother and sister out there and human being throughout the world maybe praying that they are kept healthy and that if they contract this uh, COVID-19 disease, that they are cured and kept well. My honest prayer is that I hope that Allah Rabbul Alameen transform us for the better, that He really help us to become even better, that this disease, that whatever it does, whether it strikes fear in us, whether it further motivates us, inspires us. Regardless of what it does, that ideally that it transforms us to become better in all aspects of who we are and what we are. Um, imagine this, that we're worried about contracting the disease and all that it may mean. We're worried about the financial impacts of what are being mentioned of mass layoffs and the domino effect that it can have. We're worried about all that there is as regards our worldly 
well-being and wellness, which is for the most part material, but how much of us, how many of us are really thinking about the aspect of our spiritual wellness and well-being? What is it that Allah Rabbul Alameen would have us to do? Because what we should be understanding is that Allah Jalla Jalaluhu that he tests everybody, but everything of what he does for the believer, we know that it's for our own good. As the Prophet ﷺ in that famous hadith said, عَجَبًا لِأَمْرِ الْمُؤْمِنْ إِنَّ أَمْرَهُ كُلَّهُ لَهُ خَيْرٌ وَلَيْسَ ذَلِكَ لِأَحَدٍ إِلَّا لِلْمُؤْمِنْ That the state of the believer is so amazing that everything that happens to the believer is good, and this is only for the believer. In asabatu sarra shakar fakana khairan lah that when a good thing occurs to them they are grateful, they are thankful, they are appreciative, and that is better for them. Wa in asabatu sarra sabr fakana khairan lah and when a hardship occurs, they are patient, they persevere, and that is better for them. Yahbab, how many of us during this time are truly asking Allah Rabbul Alameen that we are transformed for the better. That we are transformed for the better in our love for Him subhanahu wa ta'ala, in our emulation of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, in our commitment to each other as family, as community, in our character being all the better such that we are more mindful of our thoughts, we are more mindful of our speech and our interactions. Jama'ah, what we really want to pay attention to is to be sure that we are being bettered through this. Because regardless of the outcome, and that is in Allah Azza wa Jal's knowledge, and we have no business with that, but what we do have of a responsibility is to make sure that throughout this all, that we are becoming better because of it that it transforms us for the better, that it strengthens for us our love for Allah Rabbul Alameen, our devotion to Him and the way that we live our lives, our emulation of the Beloved Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, our commitment to family and to each other of community. And in doing so, to know that regardless of what happens, that with Allah Jalla wa'ala, that this hardship or that this experience, that this challenge, that it'll be all the more sweeter for us. That our outcome with Him subhanahu wa ta'ala, that it'll be one of winners. And in doing so, to be sure that Allah Rabbul Alameen, He does not let the smallest of things go with regards to His slaves and servants. Whatever it may be of good that we do, that we will surely be the reapers of its goodness. And that whatever we have of sins, as we humbly, with humility, turn to Him, beg Him for forgiveness, run to Him in repentance, that we truly and sincerely pay attention to our spiritual being, to have that certainty that He, Jalla Jalaluhu, that He will forgive us, that He loves to forgive, that He forgives all sins, He forgives every sin, and to Subhanallah, just imagine that even if a person is committing the greatest of blasphemies, that if they truly ask Allah for forgiveness, that Allah will love to forgive them as He has done for many, many others before us. So let's also seek this time to make sure that we are running back to Him Jalla wa'ala, and in doing so, to include ourselves from among those that He loves Subhana. Let us conclude with a prayer. Ya Allah, Ya Arham Ar-Rahimeen, Ya Dhal Jalali Wal Ikram. Ya Allah, we ask you, Rabbil Alameen, through all of your beautiful names. Ya Allah, of which you have named yourself, from which you have revealed within your scriptures, of what you have taught to your most beloved and dearest of slaves and servants of prophets and messengers, or of what you keep hidden with you, Ya Rabbil Alameen. Ya Allah, we beg you in this moment, Ya Allah, that you answer for us our prayers. Ya Allah, we ask you, Rabbil Alameen, that you bless, you bless us through this challenge of the pandemic. 
Ya Allah, that you bless us by bringing us closer to you. Ya Allah, bless us to be nearer to you. Ya Allah, bless us to be guided and to remain guided to you. Ya Allah, we ask Ya Rabbil Alameen that you bless us to be from those whom you manage their affairs. O oh Allah, manage us in all of our matters. O oh Allah, manage us in our families and all of our matters. Ya Allah, we ask Ya Rabbil Alameen that you protect us and you protect humanity as a whole. Ya Allah, we ask you that you protect us and that you protect humanity as a whole. Ya Allah, we ask you, Rabbil Alameen, that you protect us from each and everything that can bring us anything of harm and suffering in this life as well as the next. Ya Allah, we ask you, Rabbil Alameen, that whatever you decree of good, Ya Allah, that you grant us the greatest and most, the best portion of it. Ya Allah, in measures that keep us dependent upon you and grateful to you and those whom you have blessed us with in our lives. Ya Allah, we ask you, Rabbil Alameen, for all that our beloved Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam asked you for. And we seek refuge in you and all of what our beloved Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam sought protection and refuge with you in. Ya Allah, we ask you, Rabbil Alameen, for all that may be afflicted with this disease and anything else, Ya Allah, that you heal them all. Oh Allah, heal them all. Allah, you are the healer, heal them all. Ya Allah, we ask you, Rabbil Alameen, that you bestow upon them your healing touch. Ya Allah, miraculously cure everybody from what they are with and suffering from. Ya Allah, we ask you, Rabbil Alameen, that you bless us all to return back to you. Ya Allah, we ask you, Rabbil Alameen, that you guide us all to return back to you. Ya Allah, and to remain devout to you and devoted to you and committed to our families and to community at large. Ya Allah, we ask you, Rabbil Alameen, so long as we live, Ya Allah, bless us to live as the best of your slaves and servants. Ya Allah, and however, and whenever, and wherever you decide that you want to take us back, Ya Allah, we ask you one thing, Ya Allah, that you be well pleased with us. Ya Allah, be well pleased with us. Ya Allah, take us back being well pleased with us. Ya Allah, we ask you, Rabbil Alameen, that you help governments throughout the world and their citizens, Ya Allah, to work together so that we can mitigate this and every other disease, as well as any other financial disaster or any other disaster that is out there. Ya Allah, in the way that you have galvanized humanity against this microscopic enemy, Ya Allah, we ask you, Rabbil Alameen, that you keep us committed to each other for all that is in our well-being as a whole. Ya Allah, whether it be the earth and whatever there is of global matters of uh, that larger scale, Ya Allah, or whether it be anything else less than that. Ya Allah, we ask you, Rabbil Alameen, for us as Muslims especially, Ya Allah, that you bless us so that we can be the prototype for all that is good. Ya Allah, bless us to live up to what you have given us of being khayra ummatin ukhrijat nas, the best people for all of humanity. Allahumma ameen, Allahumma ameen, Allahumma ameen. وصل الله وسلم وبارك على نبينا محمد وآخر دعوانا أن الحمد لله رب العالمين والسلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته.